What's up, Chicky Fat? And we back with another cock video, guys. Today, it's Sunday, which means scary reactions, guys. Which means a nuke dropped. Nuke ah, dropped. Super nuke excited, man. Goat. This is a nuke's top ten scary ghost videos. That's new and brand brand new. For those who are new. Hit the subscribe, make like, sure you don't comment forget. the whole yeah. package. Thanks so much for tuning Yo. in, guys. We're super excited. One, this one is called Y'all Gonna Be Scared. Okay, we better so be let's scared, get this bro. going, guys. Let's make go, sure bro. don't forget, bro. guys. We got merch available in our store, djkbros.com. If you want hoodies, t shirts, caps, go check them out. Where's my headphones? Yo, let's go, bro. Now it's time to do some caca. <laughs> Artist Susie Solmori says that her family lives in a very haunted house in England. The house, which was built in 1902, still contains strange items left by its former owners. But weirdest of all, on the third floor there is a very strange painting that was left there by a previous tenant. Susie says that this painting is the most- Gilbert! It's Gilbert, bro. It's Gilbert, man. We're having- I think it's new. Story, I think it's new. I think this is- a new one. A new one from Gilbert, guys. For those who don't know Gilbert's story, man, go check it out, man. Check it out, it's guys. It's something to do with a Ouija board in the floor. And the kids seeing the... the yeah, it's the some weird Gilbert. stuff, man. But guys, do yeah. Ouija boards. It's fine, right? Yeah. Most well, that's the sun. Gilbert, bro. And then the yes and no, the sun, the moon, and yes, whatever. No? Let's go. Oops. Oh, my God. What are you doing, bro? Pressing the wrong button. Haunted object in the entire house. She says that often her young niece carries on long, eerie conversations with the spirit, quote, Gilbert, who she says inhabits the painting. <laughs> what? What are you heard? I heard that. I heard that. Right. I'm not stupid. I'm very small. I'm the smartest kid in class. Okay, not really. Yeah. Um, do you want this or do I keep it? Are you okay? Oh, I'm tired. I don't me. Hmm. It could get cold. You can't touch cold stuff. But, 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 I am. But, but I'm warm. One day, Susie and her brother ask her niece about the spirit, Gilbert. Did you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Meg. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think that used the to man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, it, is Gilbert friendly? Yeah. Does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Because they don't pray. And this is the point when things take an even creepier turn. Because Susie does some investigating and manages to find an old picture and some info about her family home. Wow. What she discovers is downright creepy. Here is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. Next to her on the balcony is her daughter, Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. Oh, I'm not sure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's so Gilbert did a little something bad, right? That's what so I was So he's in punishment. Up. He's in punishment. He did the painting upstairs. He did the painting upstairs. He something happened, but I don't know what happened, bro. But that's 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 freaky, man. You got a photo of no, the old the, days, the, man. The, huh? the worst, bro, is that Gilbert told the kid you, you don't, don't pray, pray, bro. Maybe he's a good ghost. Probably he's a good ghost, yeah, though. He's, he's like, oh, ghost. you should the pray. The Casper, bro. you know? Yeah, you should pray. Pray, yeah. There's something probably more evil in the house. Let's go, let's see. This room. Things around the house start to get even weirder as one day when Susie is home alone, she starts to hear banging noises coming from upstairs. Uh, she grabs her phone and films as she goes to investigate.
You go in there. Yeah, bro. For sure, bro. There is banging coming from inside the playroom where Gilbert's painting hangs. But when she looks inside, there's nothing there. Cut to another night, and as Susie goes upstairs, she again sees her niece doing something a little strange in the third floor playroom. The girl is prying away at the floorboards while singing, You Are My Sunshine. And remember that the spirit Gilbert is said to inhabit an old painting of the sun. Odd coincidence? Maybe. But after the girl has gone to bed... So I, mean, I thought Luca covered the story, though. I don't remember. I don't know if it was Luke that covered the story, man. But yeah, yo, what you sure. guys are gonna see on the on the floor, though, yeah, it's go, crazy, guys, bro. Look, wait, wait. Like it's it's like Buckle up. coincidence, like Luke said. Yo, like coincidence, you know? <laughs> Luke knows. Knows something's knows. fishy, fishy here. Susie and her brother go back upstairs to investigate the area of the floor that her niece was picking at. And what do you find? What they find what? makes their blood run cold. Cold. A tile? It can't be just a tile. Oh, it says Gilbert, right? Yeah. But. Yo, I don't know about you guys, man, but that cold blood, it happened to cold me. Cold blood, no. bro, guys. Look at the sun. Look at the sun. What did I say, guys? It's a nice board, though, huh? Yo, it is, though. No lie, bro. Underneath the floor, there is an old Ouija board with a picture of the sun that looks very similar to the haunted Gilbert painting. So is there a spirit named Gilbert haunting the third floor playroom of Susie's old house? And is this spirit sending messages through Susie's young niece? Let me know what you think. We need more updates. We need scary- Yo, I straight up, I hope, I wished there was an update. Yeah. Like for me, I thought there was gonna be an update. It's the same story. Very, very, very crazy. A, I find it's the best story, though. Yeah, Gilbert, man. Gilbert, I mean, bro. The Kaka community knows, man. Well, Gilbert. I think we should do a short, a bro. Gilbert. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be sick, yeah. bro. But I don't know. I feel, I feel like there's something positive. I feel like maybe there's two entities, you know? One is protecting. No, bro. You can't. No, bro. A young kid's not going to play the Ouija by itself, bro. It's tricking the kid, bro. Talk a little lower if you want to, man. If you want to let the people know that how deep your voice could go when you talk low. Continue. Yeah. Or, no, sorry. I continue. Continue, please. Yeah. Very videos. So if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Up on the housetop. An urban explorer checks out a group of small abandoned buildings in the middle of nowhere, deep in the woods. Wait, we were saying... Yeah, what's up, bro? There's a Ouija board on the inside the floor. Yeah, bro. So Gilbert was saying get the Ouija board. Telling the kid to play the Ouija Where's board, Where's the other stuff? We want to know what's happening, man. We got to follow the TikTok, bro. We do an update, bro. Man, maybe... Yeah, for sure, because I feel like, yo, there's something... Why... Why, Why suddenly, the house, bro? after saying, you know, you don't pray, and then the story continues with the kid singing a song onto the floor, and she's putting back the wooden piece, and then, uh, you know, the the aunt finds uh, the Ouija board on the floor. There's something that's, there's something that's, there's something here. Yeah, for sure, bro, for it's sure. It's getting stronger. Who? Who, the, who else was that? Gilbert. Yeah. We don't know, bro. Probably they sold the house, though. Woods of Poland. 
of ancient buildings in the middle of nowhere, deep in the woods of Poland. Eventually, it gets too dark to explore, and he decides to leave. But hanging around till after dark seems to have been a terrible mistake. Really? Oh, like Blair Witch, huh? Can't see, bro. Someone can be seen chasing the now panicking urban explorer, and whoever it is seems Yo. to have come from right off the goddamn roof. Whoa, the dude, urban explorer bro. runs off into the woods to escape. But bro, the way it went down, bro, was like uh, yeah, bro, like this guy's bro, it was like like going down, bro. Yeah, but he came down and it was chasing him, bro. But like levitating a bit, no? I don't know, bro. Put it back. But it's not like levitation like, here, guys. Yeah, I think my, bro. I think Yo, my left bro. cheek, man. But whoever this strange person is, now seems to be following him. Woo! Woo! What is that, bro? Bro, the bro. shivers I have, bro, right now? Oh, bro, bro. Oh, buddy, run. Buddy, run. Run, go home, bro. Go home. Thankfully, the urban explorer makes it home safe and shares his footage on YouTube. A curious viewer points out just how pale the unknown stranger seems to be. Another viewer claims that they too have visited the abandoned buildings and that they also saw the same creepy man. Yo! Either way. Yo, don't lie guys. If this happened in this moment around these woods in my hood, bro, I would trip. Yo, man. I'm out, bro. I wouldn't know where bro, to go, man. That's Thank freaky, God this guy's bro. good, man. Huh? This is freaky, man. Yeah, man. The way, the posture, the presence. Uh, like, yo, this I'll, is just a video and you're feeling that tension, right? Imagine I'm the gonna, guy, man. I'm going to throw hands, bro. Bro, I don't think you're throwing nothing. Bro. All you're throwing is your camera and your phone or whatever you're throwing, you're running. No, I'm throwing hands, You bro. ain't throwing shit, bro. This it thing looked like a girl, bro. No. It looked like a, a, a bad person from Resident Evil 7, bro. Jesus Christ, Called, you went far. And then you shoot the head, bro, and it's... Things pop out, bro. It looks like that, bro. It looks like that's not part of this world, bro. It looks like you get no, out. It looks that's like what a it human, looks like. Huh? Look, it looks like a girl, bro. Look. Hey, this strange guy swooping down from the roof to chase the urban explorer away is truly creepy. And it seems like something oh, right out of a horror long movie. Hair. What? A guy with long hair. Bro, whatever it is, it's not a person. What are we saying, guy, girl? He, them, she, what, what? It's an alien. It's a, it's an, it's a demon. It's a whatever that's not supposed All to be I part know, of this world. I know that was scary, guys. I did. Yeah. Poo poo. Poo poo. I did poo poo. Let us know if you did poo poo. Let's continue. Yeah. Yeah. Baby and the kitty. TikTok user Ibby is recording a cute video of her cats late one night when something happens that she still just can't explain. Is that real? I guess so. One of Ibby's cats goes behind the curtains, then turns around and seems to disappear right into the floor. Now, I'm not even entirely sure what's going on here myself, because even when this footage is brightened, it's hard to find any explanation as to why that cat just disappeared. Unfortunately, Ibby didn't share much about the strange video, but all of her cats seem to be safe and accounted for. 
So just what? Yeah, you gotta sell your kittens. You gotta Yo, sell your cats. Yo, straight up, man. You gotta. Give I don't know what kind of power your cat has, man. But he no, has it's... to sign up to the Avengers, bro, because I feel like this thing could go through walls and shit. Like, damn, man. Bro, like Mystique. Like Mystique. Mystique doesn't go through walls, man. Oh, no. Uh, it's the other one. Cra- Ra- Craven. Craven? No. I don't remember. <laughs> damn. But that was disturbing, bro. You gotta sell your cats. No, bro. bro you keep that, bro. The government oh, you sell your that, cats, bro. It can be the a government's gonna shit, do the uh, experiments. Did you see the eyes that stare down, bro? That's the flash, bro. That's no, it the... does not matter, bro. What do you mean, bro? It's evil, You need bro. this. It protects you from the entities, bro. Ah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Is this? I'll leave it up to you. It's cold outside, but you can keep warm in some all-new Nuke Stop 5 merch. Now, of course, we have t-shirts, hoodies, and... Co- Guys, don't forget, you know, we're repping it. We're repping it, man. Press play. Kaka babies. We got WPS. We also have only Kaka merch and hoodies. Shirts. We got this, guys. The dog's even saying, yo, cop it, bro. I know. Mine is dropping soon. Christmas. Whenever you feel like it. Maybe after the video. The oh. ghost at Granny's. Italian YouTube user Simone Bote says that his grandmother has been experiencing strange, unexplainable events in her home. She says that her TV turns on by itself, windows open on their own, and creepiest of all, Walter, she often hears unexplained voices from somewhere in her house. Even though he's a bit skeptical of his grandmother's claims, Simone agrees to spend the night at her house while she's away. He's not really expecting to experience much of anything. But then he also begins to hear creepy sounds from somewhere in All the right, house. Alright, let's go buckle up, guys. What happens next is truly bizarre. Let's go, Nuke. Allora, sono a casa di mia nonna. Dalla nonna. <laughs> allora, non so se sentite, praticamente sono a casa Hello, di mia nonna. Yeah, we heard it. We heard it, bro. And e non so se sentite ci sono un sacco di rumori che vengono da di sopra qui e lì allora vabbè poi ho chiesto no vabbè la luce va get out close the door get out no 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 stop it stop it aspetta devo Stop it, bro. Yeah, you need to leave, bro. Simone discovers that for some reason the lights upstairs don't seem to be working. No, that is so right, he grabs bro. a flashlight and slowly climbs the stairs in search of the creepy sounds. La parte che c'è un gran rumore di vento e mi sto cagando in mano solo per quello. E quindi Adesso sembra che sia Ragazzi, mi sto cacando in mano. Oh, caca! He said caca! Did he? He said caca, oh. bro! You see, guys? You see, guys? Copyright, guys. <laughs> Guys, no, no, no lie, man. One light of source here, flashlight going into a place where you don't want to go. Yo. Shout out to this kid, bro. He did You got to do it for Yaya, bro. You got to do it for the Yaya, bro. You got to do it for the Nona, guys. Yeah, the Nona, bro. Uh, he's helping his grandmother to yo, bust down these ghosts. Yeah, man. Who else and is going to do it? Who else is going to do it? You heard it, bro. He said, I did caca. That's why you're on the screen, bro. I'm shitting myself. Yeah. Say the bad word. Say it. I did say it. Yeah, you did it, bro. Say what? Put it back, bro. This is shit. Ragazzi, mi sto cacando in mano. De mano, bro. Cacare de mano. Non si è aperta la finestra da sola. I think I can come in mano, my friend. No, va bene. Oh shit, bro, my, oh my god, no, bro. No, my bad. 
Simone is completely alone in the house, but he hears a window and closet door open by themselves. Simone slowly begins to realize that everything that his grandmother has been complaining about is now happening right in front of him. No, oh, vabbè, ragazzi, io sono terrorizzato, ma proprio nel Yeah, bro. Close the door. Go down, close the door, get up. Follow the rules. The Jiki Bros rules. Simple. Direi che vado yeah, via bro. perché nei film consiglio sempre questa cosa qua. Quindi non sono, non sono più stupido. No, ti giuro non riesco, vi giuro non riesco neanche a parlare oggi perché fatica. Something is living up there, bro. Gli sportelli sono aperti. E il letto. Cioè, prima il letto non era così. For real, the bed era... wasn't like that, bro. Non ho la voce, ve lo giuro. Non ho la voce. Yeah, try to. Oh shit, bro. Wait, wait. No, ora vado. Mi sembra il caso di proseguire con questa cosa. Non so come. Bro, is that someone there? Is that someone there? Is that someone there? Looking there, bro. Il vaso non era. Okay, the vase wasn't there, bro. Oh, bro, flowers too, bro. Questo vaso non era lì. Non era assolutamente lì. A chandelier swings back and forth on its own. And just as Simone is about to leave, he hears movement coming from his grandmother's bedroom. He goes to take a look inside and discovers that the bed covers are now neatly arranged, as if someone came in and made the bed. Yo, this is freaky, also, the man. doors of all the cabinets are open. Suddenly, the doors move again and Simone decides to just get out of there. But inexplicably, a vase is now moved to the top of the stairs. Adesso sembra che sia ha smesso tutto quanto. Just then Simone hears more movement from the guest bedroom. He decides to take a look inside. And what happens next is downright chilling. Okay guys, buckle up, it's not done. I don't know what happened. No. For a split second, a dark shadow can be seen moving towards Simone oh, as he looks inside the room. He freaks out and just makes a run for it. And with that, he decides to stay away from the house for the rest of what the about night. Yeah, yeah, bro. Over the next seven months, Simone and his From your experience, man, from your from your you know knowledge in, in demonology and, and the fact that you've been exploring, you know, we did cemeteries and those things. What do you feel about this entity concept? Can you share that that explanation with us? As as a community, we want to know a little bit more on the presence and the strength of this entity. Is it dark? Well, it I I think it's not dark. Okay, okay. because it, it did the bed. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Usually darker, lazier. You know. Yeah. Uh, it was Their job is clothes. to be more threatening, right? It was looking for clothes, right, you know, right. like... So some, some, this yeah. entity is... And I left that. a vase yeah. with flowers, you know? As a, as a sign of... Like, thank you mm. for checking up on mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. So I think the presence myself, I don't think it's a dark presence. I think it's mistaken. I think that person's living there. Yeah. And I personally think it's... But who a, lives there, though? The Yaya. The Yaya lives there. The grandmother, the, ma, the, the grandmother, yeah. Oh. Simone's grandmother. What happened to the grandfather? That's my other question I want to bring to you as an explanation. Charlie, why are you licking my feet, bro? There's an entity there that's, I mean, trying to give a little... I feel like he's trying to give signs that I'm here, you know? Yeah. More than like, yo, mother... You know, like... Sorry. Like, like trying to be threatening, you know? Versus a dark entity would be really more Yeah, damaging. we need to know, bro. We need to know what happened to the grandfather, bro. We're going to find out here. Let's that, go. That's why I, before, I, before going continue, I want to know your, your, you know, your experience on this, so... 
Should we continue? Stay tuned, guys. We have a, demo a demonology class, guys. Yeah, it's in the progress. Grandmother discovered that the strange paranormal activity in her house might be linked to an old scarf that she won at a church raffle. Simone says that with his grandmother's permission, he threw away the scarf and that the strange activity in her house has now completely stopped. All right, so before you start doing your own investigation, you start doing your own exploration, you ask these simple questions to the, the, the person that lives there. Yeah. One of them is, did you find, did you obtain an object or something that's a little just bizarre? Uh, and, and then did it start from there, right? You can ask these questions. And it stopped. And it stopped, bro. I get, you know, before even going again, you might, this thing could have been a little bit more threatening than what it was, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. No, it was the scar, guys. The yeah, yeah, knows, bro. The grandmother knows. Yeah, yeah, knew. I, it's after church, I got this thing. Huh? Yeah. What? Nothing, what? What? Is, uh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's messed up. Ride of a lifetime. Gustavo Alacarez from Mazatlan, Mexico is celebrating his 10th birthday with his family in a small amusement park. Oh. After gathering his courage, the young boy goes on a roller coaster for the very first time. This was a, w, a total of bro. eight people get on the roller coaster, all Gustavo's family. His wow. proud mother sits in the front and records the video of Gustavo's first roller coaster ride. But her camera catches something that Gustavo and his family simply can't explain. Something truly this chilling. Sucks. Guys, look. <laughs> and it's always looking back. See, son tres vueltas. Ah, abajo no, abajo en la parte de abajo no. No, I don't remember it being that dark like that though, but like damn. Whoa. Bro. Was that a presence in a half, bro? Yeah, you bro. You felt a tingle on your toes. No, somewhere else. But the oh. That was scary, bro. Wasn't that that looked like a little like death or something, bro? Yeah, bro. Run it back. Or oh, they're gonna have a slow mo. They're gonna slow mo. They're gonna slow mo. Look, bro. Look, editor knows, bro. Knows. Did you see it? <laughs> no, don't tell me, sir. Huh? Oh shit! What shit, right? It's not there. And he, he's always looking back. He don't think I'll leave. What? You see, none of Gustavo's family got in the last cart on the roller coaster, and it's empty for most of the ride. But during the second lap, someone or something seems to appear out of thin air. The figure is hardly noticeable at first, but then it seems to transform into a solid person, seemingly wearing all black and sitting all alone. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that, Nuke. I feel like every lap it kind of got stronger till the, the moment that he disappeared. That's a good, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Gasta. Because, uh, bro, it was a black shadow. Yeah. Then now it looked like a human sitting in the back. 
Yeah, something like that, bro. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Now, the roller coaster has not stopped a single time to allow for a person to oh. get on or off. So just who or what is this? Now, what makes this capture even creepier is that years ago, two people lost their lives on a larger roller coaster that stood on the same land. After the tragic accident, that roller coaster was condemned and dismantled. It was replaced by this smaller, safer, family-friendly ride. So could this be the spirit of one of the victims of the Guaranteed. older roller coaster accident? Guaranteed, Are they think doomed so. to loop this Guaranteed. track over and over? Let me know what you think. Guaranteed, no room. I think that's what's what's interesting, right? The, the 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 whatever happens in the location, that person relives that moment every single day. What we lives, bro? The spirit stayed there, bro. What we lives? What are you saying, bro? If the spirit relives it there, it stays that, there. It doesn't relive. It's reliving the roller coaster ride, bro. It's we. It's stuck there, bro. He doesn't know where he at, bro. But what do you know, eh? He relives, bro. What? I mean, let's relive the accident, bro. No, He's but... He's saying dumb shit, bro. Where's my book? Boom. At the end. Popular Japanese ghost hunter Shiro from the YouTube channel Kuro Shiro Channel is joined Whoa. by his friend Tei to investigate an abandoned inn in the mountains of Japan. The inn was partially destroyed by a typhoon in 1982. The creepy inn is said to be haunted by the ominous spirit of a woman who is known to linger around room number 208. In an attempt to capture evidence of the paranormal, Shiro decides to leave Hell a static house. camera recording outside of... What was that? What was Hell House? I forgot, bro. What was Hell House? The number. Guys, we do a lot of movie nights on kick. Uh, every second Sunday. This Sunday we're doing... Well, today. We're going to be at uh, 7 Tonight, o'clock. Yeah. 7.30. On kick.com slash jk. Well, 7. We movie movies. starts at 7.30. Uh, and and we got to hurry up because the snowstorm is here, guys. And, and we're, it's snowing we're doing, like crazy, we're, bro. We're doing the Hell House. Uh, part 3. Part 3. If those who don't know, Hell House uh, 1 and 2. We did it... Uh, what last month podcast time no but it's, just, it's a good movie it's a it's a mockumentary but we just wanted to explain that on kick.com every second sunday we go watch movies and if movie you night guys yeah just with the just bros with the community you Let's know say grab popcorn grab mm -hmm. your spaghettis everything bro meatballs room 208 while he and his friend explore the rest of the inn without them knowing the camera captures something downright creepy what what you capture looking there I'm looking at the hole oh sh I saw it I saw it I told you the hole something can be seen moving behind a decaying old Japanese sliding door the two investigators have no idea it what they like just captured the so they decide that Tay should go and stay in room 208 Shiro heads off to explore the basement, so Tay is left completely alone upstairs in room 208. Suddenly something happens that chills him to his core. Is that a shadow behind him? Oh! No, 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 no. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh! No, 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 no. What happened, right? this like a shadow yeah but it felt like a block more than anything not like a right okay go go i think it's like oh ne, 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 ne. i don't know i didn't see bro go i i know like it was like literally like a, 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 block? a block i saw I went, a shadow bro. i went up and then down i saw a shadow up uh, in the uh, ceiling yeah, I, 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 I think the shadow more on the bottom Bro, press play before I knock you out. Bro. <laughs> 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 
Something touched him and he was caught on camera. Yo, you see it? The investigators. Dude, that is that is uh Creepy. yo 208 guys, you don't go there. Huh? And this is when he left after. Yeah. 208 guys, you don't go there. You I don't think I have to maybe remove the contrast. On the TV? Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's so dark that yeah, like I'm always looking there. It's not it's dark, the dark spots are dark, you know. Promise guys, no promise we're gonna be scared. You scared? So far, they're good videos. Yeah, they're great videos. He's touched by something that he can't see, and he just makes a run for it. When looking back at the footage, oh, it's no, clear oh, that no. there's a dark shadow that seems to reach out and touch him, okay, even though Tay says it. that he didn't see anyone or anything at the time. You see it. Then whatever this is seems to follow Tay, this time appearing as a pale figure caught by the static camera pointed at room 208. When the two investigators finally find each other again, Shiro decides that it's time to grab their equipment and just head home. Peace. So did their cameras capture the ghost of the woman who is said to haunt the abandoned inn? See, they know their or limits. Is it all Yo, they're exactly. They know their they limits. They know their limits. It was that one thing, and it was like, it's I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm out, out, bro. bro. Guys, follow the take JK notes. Rules. Take Very, notes. Take notes, yeah. You hear take something? Notes. You see something? These guys are top tiers now, bro. They got Peace. out. They never went back. Let's go. They're going back. For sure. Yeah, going. yeah. They have a WPS in their blood, bro. All just an elaborate hoax. You decide. Let's go, number. A scare at the Four. Airbnb. Imogene from Alberta, Canada is spending the night at an Airbnb with a friend and her little dog, Rosie. Ah, okay. Suddenly, Rosie just starts freaking out oh. at what seems like nothing. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost? Yeah. yeah. What is this first? Where's the ghost? Right there. Look closer, guys. Where? Where is it? She's staring at me. Before I do anything, guys, just make sure you watch this clip very, very carefully. Yeah. Especially on the frame uh, on the bottom left side. The... Watch it. Don't say anything. Carefully, because guys, we've seen this. We've seen this two, three times. Uh, and I think when we do see this, we're gonna tell you guys. Where to look exactly, but watch exactly how the dog moves down and look on the left side. Keep looking, frame, guys. Because that's some WPS, bro. Ah, Imogene jokes that the dog is barking at a ghost, and her friend is a little freaked out by the dog's creepy, crazy orange eye shine in the camera. But then things take a that very wasn't bizarre it, turn. That wasn't it. Yeah. What the f Suddenly, the little dog oh. makes a run for it, and a creepy dark shadow seems to reach out for her. In yeah, someone said in the comments that it's a shadow from the pe Bro, there's no way, bro. There's no way it's a person's shadow. You know, bro. the only way you can really know how lighting works in a in a in a hood, in a place, in a home, is by being there. You gotta see how the lighting works, cause the different lightings work different. Yeah, but right? it doesn't look. It like doesn't it. Look, look like look, you're look, right. Look. Dog makes a run for it, and a creepy dark shadow seems to reach out for her. There's no Emma way. Emma says bro. that she has no idea just what this strange shadow could be, and she now believes that the Airbnb might actually be haunted after all. See, that's the thing, right? I would have said maybe this napkin goes like this, but you can't because there's something on it, so it's heavy. So this, it's really like... Yeah, someone said in the comments that it's someone that did this. But and it, there's, no, you can't, bro, because look how it disappears, bro. What the f***? The ghost of passing actually be haunted after all. Right, it just vanishes, bro. What the f***? Yeah, the way like it go goes like... Yeah, it's it's a pull. Yeah, it's out. It's out. Yeah, it's not like. So, I, I mean, it's, know, it, I feel like it's, it's a, a cool nice, video, it's a nice though. clip. It's a really cool clip. And why the eyes were orange, bro? That's what happens. You know, when you take uh, when you're filming something, you're going to somewhere a little darker space. But not orange. That's probably because the lighting. I don't know, bro. Can't press know, play, bro. Superpower now, bro. Orange eyeballs, bro. You gotta talk about orange eyeballs versus the paper thingy. 
the ghost of passengers past. This next creepy video was recorded by a bus driver in Santiago, Chile. The bus driver is completely Chile. alone in a parked bus about to start her shift at 8 a.m. in the morning, uh -oh. but she suddenly realizes that she might not be as alone as she thought. Corre el tiempo. Hay un pasajero sentado en el asiento que va solo, al lado de la puerta. Nos movemos. Nos movemos. Y no hay nadie. No, no, no. Un pasajero fantasma. Cachen. Sigue ahí sentado. ¿Vale? Bro, I give the keys. I'm like, give me another bus. I leave the bus there. Give I got my bus. bus. Yo, I left the bus there. Why? Don't you don't even have to know. Yeah, Just give you... me the give me another bus. Okay. Tell me, give no, me the give me the fifty five. Not even, bro. Why? Give me my four percent amount, bro. Why, bro? Bro, probably all the ghosts are there in the every ghost. Every bus. What are you saying, Costa? Every bus is possessed, bro. Now, no, oh. no, you quit, bro. You no, bounce, no, no, bro. no, 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 no. You give your keys. You say I want another bus. No, no. Yeah, no. you don't need to, bro. You're not gonna quit your job because you saw a a a a, a, a ghost that's trying to do go, go to work, bro. So you're gonna be mentally fine after that. Yeah, Take I'll another be, bus. Be, and you're looking at the camera while you're driving. You're looking at the. No, I'm I'm having okay. another bus. So let's say you see another one. I'll take another bus. No, you cracked and then out, if that. If Jesus that continues, Christ, I'll work on the subway, bro. Press play, bro. <laughs> a security camera live feed shows a young passenger is seated next to the window young behind passenger. the bus driver. But when she turns to look, no. there's no one there. The bus driver wonders if she might be witnessing a real paranormal event. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, the video cuts right there, and it was reposted to the internet without a name or source. So was it a ghost, or just a very strange camera glitch? I leave that up to you to decide. I think that the same question I have for this, if it's, uh, obviously I, I personally think this is real, but for those who are questioning, maybe the screen has a, a recording or something. And you're looking at a recording, then you're turning uh, around. But I don't think those that's buses... That's a good question. Yeah, I think it's just a... A pre-recording. No, I don't think it's a pre-recording. I don't think that's just I think ask. it's a live, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a, more of a feed. Oh, uh, yeah, for a danger. But like, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't yeah, quit. Because, yeah, again, the ghost is trying to go to work, bro. Like, it's... It's it's, it's a young passenger, bro. It's going to school. school. Okay, that's whatever, it. man. It's go, He's going somewhere, man. Nah, I would quit, bro. Like nah. I said... The ghost is relieving his routine, my friend. That's how I said the roller coaster thing. The routine. He's reliving the routine. He still didn't go up there. He has unfinished right, business to do. The Sixth Sense, bro. You learn a lot if you watch that movie. I watched uh, Sixth Sense. Bro. Okay, so you don't be, don't act, the, don't get mad at me for saying this. No, bro. They're just stuck, bro. No, they're not stuck. They have something to do. They have to find something to finish in the world. It's true. And they didn't get the chance to finish it. So God's bad, like, yo, I'm going to make you stay until you're done. And then once you're ready, come up. But they can't do anything in the real world. That's what they're trying. They're not allowed. That's why, the, for example, the, the Yaya's house, yeah. the chandelier was trying to get, yo, help me, bro, help me, you know? like. No, no. Hey, can't you see me? No, no. They can't do nothing in the real world, bro. Today you said the, uh, a bit of the... Watch shit, closely. Bro. Urban explorer Jimmy Jimenez has traveled to an abandoned ghost town somewhere in the mountains of Mexico. He stumbles upon an empty and seemingly barricaded house and decides to take a look inside. While exploring, he doesn't really find anything that's strange, just an abandoned house covered in dust and dirt. But while his back is turned, something happens that makes you wonder if the house was barricaded for a reason. Something truly chilling. Oh, Watch shit. closely. Oh my God, guys. Yo, guys, I think this is gonna be the best video.
see what I saw? Did you see what I saw? The oh. bear was like this. And I was sitting up. Bro. I was sitting up, guys. It's sitting up and he's looking Open these barricaded bro. places. Open them up. Open, invite people. You heard dog? No, I saw a shadow fly. I think it's the window. Like the shadow. You see it? The, yeah, I think it was that. Oh my god, bro, bro, this uh, nuke video, bro, a straight caca to the guys. You didn't realize it. <laughs> when Jimmy enters the old yeah. abandoned house, a doll can be seen lying face down on a you chair in the it. corner of the you entrance. Didn't realize it. But when he returns later to the entrance, the doll is now seated upright, facing Jimmy as if watching him. The explorer is completely unaware of what has happened, and he leaves the house oblivious to what he just captured. Now it should be mentioned that this footage has zero cuts. You can watch it yourself on Jimmy's YouTube channel. I was going to say, I'm like, oh, maybe he cut. No, I'm like, this no, guy just said zero, zero cuts, cuts bro. bro. Damn. That hey, this way, footage yeah, has cut zero this. cuts. You can watch it yourself on Jimmy's YouTube channel. Except for a stray dog a barking in the background bro. and the sound of Jimmy's own movements, no other footsteps or motion can be heard. So it's a complete mystery as to how this doll could have moved. Could it be that something terrible happened in this house? Is the doll perhaps a warning for Jimmy to leave? Let me know what you think. The late night visitor, Sandra no, Crocker. Already made it to number one, guys. Oh. So far, we had, you know, really good history story with Gilbert. I feel like really good clips by Nuke Top 5, man. Definitely. No lie, bro. I'm, I got shivers. I got goosebumps. We just reached number one. Um, but I think we understand a little bit more on what? entities here. It's true. It's true. No, bro. They're all dark entities in these videos, bro. You think so? Yeah, bro. Well, if you talk a little bit loud like that, they, they can hear me, bro. Don't no, worry. No, it's gonna be very low. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're gonna see. No, you're gonna they see. They can bro. hear me. No, it's okay, go. But throughout this video, right, there's gonna be all dark entities, you bro. You think the whole dark yes, entities throughout it's the whole all video. videos, bro? The grandmother, the the Gilbert, the Gilbert bro. They're all dark. The bro. dog, the the house, the cat, the the house. They're uh, following him. Bro, that was messed up. Dark, bro. That was dark. The, the Japanese guy. Bro, we should do Japanese scary ghosts, bro. Bro, are we going to survive? Uh, I don't know. But, bro, they're all dark entities, bro. You said dumb shit again, bro. Let's go. Number one. Let's see now, bro. Her from Lincoln, Nebraska wakes up one morning to find a strange notification from her ring doorbell camera. The notification says that someone was at her door at around 3.30 in the morning. When she checks the footage... She is shocked. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, oh, my God. Yo, Nukes, today, bro, you brought up the good ones, bro. My boy knows. Yo, Nukes knows. Oh, my God, bro. Something can be seen <laughs> that seems to exit Sandra's house at 3.24 a.m. The unrecognizable figure appears small and wide at first, but then as it disappears around the corner, it seems to have grown in size and is now dark as night. So, so wait, we're going from light to dark. Told you, bro. Yeah, man. It's all yeah, dark man. entities, bro. Yeah. Look how big Do it is. Do not trust. Bro. Look how tall it is, bro. I can't decide if that's tall Press or not. Best play, bro. You're going to see Some it, Some have bro. even suggested that it looks like the dark figure of a woman walking away in an old-timey dress. Now, Sandra doesn't know what to make of the footage. So, 
What do you think this could be? Let me know. It's, it's, Thanks for watching. Bro, it's it's Melisandre from uh, from Resident Evil, bro. Bro, it's very detailed too, huh? Yeah, you bro. Saw, saw the dress. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. The light. And the hands too. Yeah, dude. man. Yo, Nuke! I mean, yo, guys, yo. even if we've seen some videos, man, Nuke got still the top, list bro. on top, man. Top 10, with the last one being so weird, I nah, think. I, I could say, bro, I could say these are the top of the year, bro. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, but Jilbert was, like, last year, no? That's what I'm saying. Jilbert was a little old. I mean, it's, not, it's not for the year, man. I think Nuke no. is going to do another one for sure, man. For but, sure he's going to do. I mean, if you're talking about 10, man, what is he going to do with? No. He's going to do, do, do. Good, dude, dude. Guys, let us know in the comments down below which one was the scariest one. Me definitely has to do with the, the, the guy that, following that, him. Yeah, that creature thing. I don't know what the hell that was, man. Levitating and just following. That, that was, was my creepy. best one. Uh, and then Gilbert. And then Gil Gilbert, not Gilbert. Gilbert. Oh, uh, Gilbert. I feel like Gilbert has a really cool story. I think Paramount or, you know, one of the studios are eventually going to buy a story. Yo. Yo, they haven't made a really good Ouija board movie, man. Just Ooh. saying. You guys, love you incredibly. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, we're live tomorrow at 7.30 for more Kaka videos. Tonight on cake, guys. See you guys tonight and see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all. Yo, guys, gotta go. See, see you on the next video.